subscribers hello so glad you're finally here this is amazing all right this is my dream come true i've wanted to make content for car guys my whole life i grew up in the 90s watching stacy david on sunday mornings and it inspired me to go work on my truck that's what it did so i want to inspire you guys and that's that's what we're gonna do tonight i'm gonna start out by teaching you some of the things that I've done with the stainless steel tubing. All right, I use stainless steel tubing in a lot of my work. It was my job for one, one period of my life. I was an instrument fitter. I ran hydraulic and airlines for industry like refineries and, and factories. So this stainless steel tubing, I buy from an industrial supplier. An industrial supplier in my hometown, his name is Techline USA. They sell stainless steel tubing and you can find one of these places near you. You don't have to be a business to buy tubing from them. You just go there and meet a salesman. They sell tubing in 20 foot pieces. They sell it by thousands of foot bundles at a time. You're only going to need to buy 20 feet, 40, 60 or whatever. It's uh, it's like $2 a foot. Usually it's pretty cheap. This is the benders that I use to bend this tubing. All right, here's a piece of the 3 8 stainless steel tubing that I've ran for my airlines and my turbo oil drains. All right, this tubing is 0.035 wall stainless steel. And here's the benders. These are made by Rigid. This is a standard set of Rigid benders. They got a dial indicator here that tells you what degree you're bending. Put the tubing in the benders, close it, you're going to have a mark here where you want to bend and that's how it bends it. All right. We can make a long video on how to measure and how to run tubing, how to route tubing. And I will do that. But for tonight, what I wanted to show you is these turbochargers and this tubing, how I made my oil lines. All right. Here's one of my turbos. Same one I've got in here, it's a Mitsubishi T3. Turbochargers have an oil line that comes into the top, always in the top of the turbo. And it's gonna have a bolt journal fitting, just like that. I just realized this camera's been not on the whole time. It doesn't matter, I didn't need it. That fitting has a, a piece of tubing coming out of it from the factory on this turbo that's carbon steel. You can stick it inside this stainless steel tubing. It sticks right inside there and you weld around it. We're gonna weld that with a MIG welder. I have a Hobart here that I'll show you in my next video. I have a Miller in there that I TIG weld with. I'll show you that. Making your own oil lines is perfectly okay to do. Nobody realizes that you can get away with these things. That's why the name of my YouTube channel is Phantom Welds because we're getting away with shit here that people don't realize you can get away with. This is the drain line from my last turbo. This is how they work. They have two bolts. That's a flange and a hole in the middle where the oil comes out. I made that out of scratch, just out of metal. That's a fitting right there that I welded to it. That's welded straight to it. A tubing fitting welded to a piece of metal, stuck on the turbo like that. And it drains my oil all the way back down to my oil pan. So you got your benders, these tubing benders, I think these cost like a hundred dollars. You can buy some tubing benders at Lowe's. They don't have a handle this long. They work just fine. You see, I welded a piece of pipe here to give me more leverage. That's what you're going to do. If you don't have enough leverage, give yourself a longer lever. And then when you got your tubing, you're going to figure out from your airbag where your first bend needs to be to be out of the way of everything. Wherever your tape measure is at that measurement, bend it and then bend it again. And what your tape measure looks like, that's what your tubing is going to look like. You can get a piece of wire and bend that to look like the piece of tubing and then use that for a blueprint, like a welding rod and bend it that shape. Bring that out here and then bend your tubing. Getting turbo supply oil is easy. You can buy these lines on the internet all day. I'm here to show you how to have creative fun. So when I'm out here doing this at night, it's because I'm listening to an audio book or some music, usually a book. 
and enjoying myself. I'm in another world, having fun, building cars. Thanks for subscribing. I'll make some more how-to videos really soon. Here's the lines that I made for my oil. See that weld? Goes down there, catches that other one, and then goes all the way down to my oil pan down there. And then up top here, See it? Bolt, oil line, welded to the stainless oil line. Right there is the weld.